the idea of a scientist and an artist and an engineer hundreds of years ago, there was no distinction. I think pure science and art are, are real similar. They're experiments into something you don't know. We would make an art that couldn't be bought or sold and thereby gain control of it again. I figured out that the act of doing something in itself could be art, and I didn't have to make an object. Newsweek uh, magazine has deemed our next guest the evil Knievel of the art world. His name is Chris Burden. As a piece of sculpture, right. you allowed someone to shoot you. Right. Yeah, but who could appreciate it? Uh, you do. I mean, that's why I'm here. Yeah. I think he was the best because he was the most fearless, the most radical. He was the guy. It was great. The people who who took his work real seriously and thought that he was like an innovator. And then there were people that thought he was some kind of lunatic who was trying to get attention. If you learned his background, brought up in Switzerland, in the highest level of education, and, uh, and then when you met him, none of that appeared. You thought, here's this odd person who's kind of living on the edge of society. Today, I'm going to breathe water. What if art was violent? You know, what if art hurt? What if it was painful? What if it scared him? Is that art? He liked that idea, I think. He could be very unstable. Maybe it was just too much cocaine and alcohol and weed all at the same time. I slowly stopped doing performances and then started doing more installations. I think the public wants you to keep doing one thing. You know, the thing that you get known for, they want you to keep doing that. The idea that he'd become beloved and emblematic of Los Angeles in this sort of cuddly way was something that nobody, nobody could have predicted. At first you think it's a little bit discordant, but in fact, Chris has always been interested in the viewer. Chris has never been afraid to make something that uh, manipulates and embraces spectacle. People just enjoy them and they get great pleasure from them. They could care less who the artist is. That's fine for me because it means that the artwork is bigger than the maker.